I mean, that might be a record. That might be a record. <laughs> really good work. That's yeah. really a lot of your knows. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. It is time to build the website that you've been dreaming of. Now is the time. Use Squarespace. I love Squarespace because I've built four websites with my own two little paws. You don't need to know HTML. You don't need to know any kind of coding. The templates are just fantastic. They're so clean. Everything is very intuitive. You have e-commerce functionality that lets you sell anything online. You can customize the look and feel, the settings, the products, and more with just a few clicks. Everything's optimized for mobile right out of the box. Analytics that help you grow in real time. And the best part, 24-7 award-winning customer support. I think it's great if you are, let's say you have an event coming up or maybe you have a business, a physical business that you want to promote online. So you're going to go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Welcome to another episode of your mom's house podcast. How do you say your mom's house in Espanol? Uh, you say la casa de tu madre. I like it. Yeah. Death row is the label that pays me. How do you say your mom's house in Hungarian? Uh, Anya Haza. <laughs> That's Anya Haza. Really? <laughs> I Ooh. think so. I, if I said it right. How do you say it in Hebrew? Bait shel ima shelcha. Gross. Uh. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ew. That uh, didn't sound pretty at all. Didn't sound nice. Say it again. Ima shnebal chanehina. Bait shel ima shelcha. Lights. Okay, mute your mic. Yeah. So, <laughs> welcome. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the live streaming pod. So, first one ever. Um, we actually have not yet done it as of this recording, but we know it has happened now. That's what happens at your mom's house. We record in the past, the future, the present. It's everywhere. We time travel. But <laughs> we um, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was like a I lot said, of fun. Yeah. It is the first one ever, and we hope to do uh, more of them if it was something you enjoy. Please let us know. Let us know in the comments. Um, thank you so much. Did you just burp while I you did. said thank you? I did. I burped. I've had a fart in the... Where's the fart mic? The fart mic's been gone. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, been, oh Jesus. Did you hear that? Did it pick up? That picked up. Yeah. <laughs> that was a big... I'll okay. tell you why. I am on a 100% plant-based diet. We hung out with uh, the Yuri's the other night. Yep. And Brendan's wife suggested this diet that i'm on mm -hmm. and it is creating a lot of wind okay not gonna lie <sighs> so um also if you go to merchmethod.com slash tom segura we did it come on mark don't be stingy <laughs> we did the stingy merch we also have a yeah. um a koozie that on one side it says that the other side it says well it's normal size which is <laughs> that's great for a beer you know um yeah, we have a hundred percent for Bert. We have Ugh. Jen. We prompt. We're not going to hurt you. <laughs> we have the for safety ones. <laughs> really excited. A lot of people love the shut up Karen stuff. We have a mask shirt there. <laughs> Anal starts at fifty. <laughs> um, vitamin uh, C Bert Kool Aid shirt. So much sugar. Boy mom, thick boy. All that stuff. Uh, Merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. Thank you guys I, for supporting. I got to say, just hearing you rattle off the names of those shirts really brightened my day. Oh, it's I, great. I, I see all that gum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got some stuff to, to, <laughs> to get into. Uh, by the way, in the live show, if you hit that, that link that I told you about, uh, you can see uh, Ed fucking. So we'll get into that Ooh. if you want to. If you want to take a look at that, <laughs> only um, if you dare. <laughs> only if you dare. All right, uh, you ready to start the show? Oh my god! Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. I, I speak good English. I speak good English. You don't do not speak. You do. You do. Do not do. You can speak English. <laughs> who, who is Randy? <laughs> don't bring anyone mother into this. No mom in the fucking stand. Welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Okay, <laughs> 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 
foot, foot. Curls. Yeah. I kind of is this the ghost of Christmas future for me I'm like I do speak good English like, why is your English gonna fall apart more <laughs> I don't know but I feel like I feel like, <laughs> like what the fuck's gonna happen I just feel like if I don't take care of myself I'm gonna that's gonna be me in like 10 years yeah doesn't she I mean like how I look like I'm not gonna lie I mean yeah in the way that I look like Ed I guess <laughs> it's th- th- things could really fall apart <laughs> yeah yeah so, yeah well yeah She's Bulgarian. You got that beautiful mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Gosh. Her English, not so good. You got that. Uh, she's really upset that mouth. people are insulting her English, which is what <laughs> I think is funny. That she's upset people are making fun of her English. So then <laughs> she puts out a video defending her English with poor English. Yeah. It's pretty great. Hello, everybody. My name is Mariana Nikolova, a new minister of tourism in uh, Bulgaria. Uh, today, I'm really very angry because <laughs> people uh, say I speak no good English. Uh, I, I speak good English. I speak good English. You do, do not speak. You do, you do. Do not do you can speak English. I have certificate. I have uh, about, about uh, 50... Uh, seven or 78 certificate uh, that I speak do good English do, uh-huh. do, do can speak uh, good English yeah everybody in gear everybody in government uh, of Bulgaria speak uh, very very good English mm-hmm. yeah and you do not have do you do how do you do? Do not have right. Uh, do you do have do right? No. Um, to um, laugh uh, at me uh-huh. that I uh, speak no uh, English. Right. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. I I actually I have a lot of of empathy for people that you know speak English or another language. Oh it's gosh. hard, and it's not. And I, I really do. I mean, I feel for, I, I never try to like mock people trying to speak another language. Oh, I don't speak a word of Bulgarian. Here. Yeah. No, but it is funny that, that she's making a video <laughs> about the fact that she speaks great English. Right. You know? And here's the deal, man, is that you can prepare a speech in advance. Well, you could also edit this. Right. You could, <laughs> you could have watched this back and be like, I'll just re-record this. Right. You know? Right. I'll send this right. to someone who speaks better English and have them give me notes. Correct. And it. then and then record that. Put right. It out there. Like don't put out the first draft. Yeah, that's what, what you did. Yeah. You put out you put out a fucking version that I speak English that goes You do you do. Do not do you. <laughs> so that's the problem there. <laughs> She's a nice lady. I feel badly for her. I do too, because it, again, where I don't think I, the joke isn't like yeah she can't speak English. It's, it's not like easy putting out a statement saying that my English is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's her. That's her statement. That's I the speak premise. awesome English. So then prove that to yeah. us. And also, again, with the camera angles, if you're ever going to film yourself, this is the from, way to do it. Yeah. This is the perfect way to do it. Look down on the camera. It's really the least flattering. <laughs> Make yeah. sure that your chin is pushed all the way back. Yeah. Uh, I speak good English. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You do you do. Do you do, do, do not do, do you. Do not do you. Do not do not do you, bro. Do Maybe not she's do you. saying that. Don't do you. Maybe she's trying to be kind of cool, uh, you know? Yeah, man. Do not do you. It hurts to laugh a little bit, honestly. Because uh, of your your operation. So I had I had two Okay, I've never had surgery. I've never had <laughs> anything done. You haven't had teeth pulled in your life? No. I've never had you a know, te- You never had wisdom teeth pulled? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I had wisdom teeth. Right, but, but this like is different. That's different, yeah. yeah. Um, so here's what, here's what actually happened. Here's the full story for, for people so that you understand. I, we talked about it, and um, you know, not only do, are we done having children, but I'm on the road, and I want to... <laughs> 
you know, I want to come in all of you guys too. <laughs> I'm sick of giving you 140 bucks and 160 bucks. Get the morning after pill. You know, yeah, you got That's a little 20 bucks in my pocket. You got money for buy yourself a coffee after, but you got to get that, you know. And now, you know, I can just with reckless abandon just blow loads <laughs> in everybody I meet. Right. Um, I mean, the only thing is you still have to worry about STI. Eh, they're not. <laughs> those aren't real. So, so I go to get the uh, the consultation for the vasectomy uh. like a month ago, and as the guy's playing with my balls, he goes, uh, he goes, oh, you have a, I think you have a hernia, and I was like, what? And he reaches, he goes, oh, yeah, you have a hernia. I go, I do? And he goes, yeah, does this hurt? And I go, no. And he goes, well, you should, um, you should go see the general surgeon about it because, you know, he could fix your hernia and I could give you a vasectomy while you're under. So And I great. was like, oh, okay. Like twofer. Now, wait a minute, but back to him touching your nuts. Yeah. Uh, how does that, is that weird? It's so weird when they check for, you know what they do? Where your sack connects to your body. So picture the your highest point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under and the undercarriage. Yeah, yeah. They reach their finger up under that undercarriage and they feel around in there. And you're like, ah. Oh. So does it feel like someone's scraping it, like touching? It feels your like intestine? someone's reaching into your insides. Oh. You know. So you're like, whoa. And he's like, oh yeah, there it is. And I'm like, I don't know what you're feeling, but um, I go see the general surgeon, and he goes, you know, let me see. And he goes, oh yeah. He goes, does this hurt? And I go, no. He goes, does it bother you? And I go, no. And he goes well, you don't have to repair it right now. I go, I don't? He goes, no. I go, oh, well, so I don't understand. It's not going to be a problem. He goes, oh, it'll, it'll become a problem. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> he goes, it'll get worse over time. <laughs> but you could not repair it. You don't have it. to do it right now. And then it'll get worse. He's like, you could do it when it's worse. And I was like, I don't <laughs> want to do that. Wait, wait, so you're telling me the great deal is you could do it now where it's giving you no pain. Right. Or wait until it gets more and more painful. Yeah, it becomes a real nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, I'm not traveling right now and touring. Yeah. So, but I could wait till I'm on tour and then do it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So you're, what you're telling me is, I could not address it and just wait till it's till more it of hurts. a burden and Will then it do it. He's like, right. So Until go, it really. Okay, gets I'll, I'll do it now. Pronounced. Yeah. yeah. All he tells me, by the way, about he goes, yep. Yeah, you know, we'll do it. You know, tells me a date to pick. I pick a date, and then he goes, by the way, this is going to hurt much worse than the vasectomy. Like, this will hurt you more after. I was like, oh, okay. That's it. That's all he tells me. It's just going to hurt worse. I go, all right. Then um, that's all I hear. That's that's the prep. There's nothing else. <laughs> well, I, I agree. First of all, can we just, one thing, what is a hernia? It's a like, hernia. It's like you're, you're pushing your insides out of your Yeah, it's, like, it's basically that like an organ um, has protruded from a, the cavity, <laughs> right? A bulging of an organ or tissue through... <laughs> abdominal opening so, in, in really bad cases it can be that your like intestines like that ooh. you see that hernia on that guy's belly button right Yikes. there on the left yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a hernia yeah. so it's like it's like the sausage comes out of the casing kind of right yeah like mine isn't push. there mine was like uh if you see that you see that um image below that one that you're on zoinks no the other one that one and you Oof. see you see the guy the right uh right there where the the penis that one that's mine that's where oh, it is. Oh, right there. There's that's, yours. That's exactly and where it is. Do you give that to yourself or that just happens? They here's the thing. If you can have an incident where you go, This is where it happened. Uh. With me, that doesn't exist. Like he, you know. I was like, could this have happened when I, I started lifting like two, three months ago? He's like, Yeah, it could have, but it also could be older. Like, you know, I don't I don't have like a an in, like a lift where I remember being <clears> like, Oh shit. Like, like I just did something. No. You didn't hear it pop out. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> There's my organ. So anyways, he said on the scale of one to 10, I had a three. Ooh. So it wasn't like that prominent. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't bulging to the sense where I'd look down and be like, oh my God, what the fuck is that? You like know? that's, that's usually when you once you become a drawing or a picture, it's the, it's like bad. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't, it's always a bad case scenario when it's in a picture. Or yeah. A drawing. yeah. But you, that's exactly where mine is though. Right. Wow. Like you can just see that that's, that's So that's what he reached spot. up under your nutsack yes, and touched and that. Yes, touched that from the Ooh. inside of my, like, outside and then inside my body damn so anyway um so that's all they tell you is that's like, all they tell you is like we're gonna, gonna fix hurt. this and while you're and, and be, if it was just a vasectomy it would be an outpatient thing and they do it in like a few minutes and they get put local anesthetic and then you go home you ice your balls and blah blah, blah. because it's the hernia that's an actual real procedure it's surgery they put you under under and so he's like while you're under you'll have your vasectomy done and so it'll be like a twofer i was like great i get to the hospital that morning 
and I'm laying there, and I'm starting to get like just kind of anxious, you know, yeah. like you're in a hospital setting. I've never had any surgery, and they're like, you know, they keep asking you, do you know what you're having done? I'm like, yeah, like all the like different nurses come by. Do you know what happened to you? I was like, don't. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I know what's happening. And they try to trick you um, because they give you, the only instruction they give you is nothing to eat or drink, nothing after midnight, right? Right. So the, one of the nurses comes by and he goes, uh, what did you have for breakfast? And I was like, what did I have for breakfast? And he goes, yeah, like, was it good? And I go, I didn't have anything for breakfast. And he's like, good answer. <gasps> I go, how often do people... Uh, fuck that up. He goes all the time. All the time. And that the reason they do that is that in case you go on when you're under anesthesia yeah. and you asphyxiate, right? You don't vomit and then choke a lot of on your vomit wrong. and yeah. die. Yeah. That's crazy. Trickery. So, uh, yeah, they try to trick you into into giving up the info, you know? Damn. You could be like, oh, I had pancakes. And then they're like, oh, we're not having surgery anymore. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I tell the guy, uh, actually, there's a, a woman I tell her. Is she hot? She was super hot, and she was like, you look like you know how to fuck. And I yeah. was like, yeah. Because I feel so, like for a vasectomy, they should make it enticing for the men and have topless nurses. Like, I would concede to that for you. Thank you. Because you're doing this as a sacrifice for the family. Right. And I'd be like, this is my husband's vasectomy. Can I touch them? Can I touch the titties? Yeah, it's, yeah. Your, last, it's yeah. your last hurrah as a fertile male. Yeah. Go ahead. So, anyways, I tell her, I go, I'm a little anxious. And um, the uh, anesthesiologist comes by, and she's like, we're going to give you a little something to take the edge off. In a moment, I go, okay. Sweet. So as we're wheeling into the operating room, they give me something through the IV, and it just is mild. I was like, oh, okay. It's just like a little sedative, you know? And then we're in the room there, and he pulls my pants down. And he kisses it. Kisses my penis, and he goes, this is the last time it's going to feel like this. And I go, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you know, they, they have to draw a circle around where they're doing it. They're like, which Around. side is the hernia? Oh, yes, they do because sometimes they'll yeah. amputate somebody's yeah, wrong yeah. leg or so cut off your penis. I go right here, and then he writes yes on my crotch right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't. Write. Yeah. So then, anyways, then I'm talking to the lady, and she goes, uh, you're going to be out here in a moment. And I go, really? Like, how soon? And she goes, pretty soon. And she's just cranking something in the IV, and I'm like, <laughs> I just don't remember anything after that. Yeah. I wake up in the recovery room, and I feel like I have like just OD'd <laughs> like I was like oh I mean I could barely open my eyes she was like hey I go hey what's up and she goes so you've been in the recovery room for an hour I was like what how much time has gone by yeah. and they're like three hours I was like oh my god and then immediately I go back to sleep yeah and then you come in later and I think you said uh, as I was we were talking I fell asleep again you fell asleep so I walked in well, first of all, it's very, during COVID, they really make it a lockdown. Yeah. And so I, I go, I can go in there and the nurse was sweet and you were like, Bruh. and then um, there was a chatty Kathy next to you. Do you remember the chatty Kathy? He was like, yeah, I gotta get out. Uh, uh, yeah, uh. Yeah, it yeah. was on his cell phone yeah. doing the inner, you know, anyway, you, you passed out. But while you were out, we thought it was going to be a 45 minute procedure. Yeah. It ended up being two hours. And I, we, I was in the hospital for three and a half hours waiting for you. But during that time, I saw so many confused elderly people. It sucks because during COVID, they can't bring their companions with them. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, this hospital is supposed to be the best in LA, but they're not very organized. And so it's I a lot saw... Of, it's a tough place to navigate, it's honestly. Very, Even if you have your faculties, and, but you're just yeah. like, there's so <laughs> many different buildings and like P3, P4, P, different parking scenarios. <laughs> And that, by the way, P3 does not mean level three on a parking garage there. It's a name of a building. <laughs> They're like, parking so P3. Silly. I'm like, third level. They're like, no, no, P3, the building. I'm like, the fuck is this? Like, just crazy shit like that. I know. So anyway, there was this one lady. There were, all I saw in the lobby as I was waiting for you mm -hmm. was old people losing their shit because they didn't know if they were in the right place because they don't tell you anything at this hospital. Like, we just show up and then we're like, what do we do now? Someone comes to get you when? And there was one lady you can tell someone's crazy when they wear a sun visor indoors. I yeah. feel like that's a really clear indicator. Yeah. But she had on like a sweatband and then a sun visor crazy. and then the crazy blue blockers. And she was sitting down and she was like, is this where I'm supposed to be? Just announcing Just it. Just yelling to everybody. Lobby. Yeah. And it's like, ma'am, what do you need done? I'm having bladder surgery. <laughs> like, this is the best. It was the best people watching I've had in a long time. check in who they... Because they check you in, in a separate level, and you give them your name and your yeah. date of birth and all that stuff. Yeah. And they go, 
so she's like like the next pod over they go date of birth and she goes what <laughs> and they go date of birth and she's like oh oh <laughs> i just gasped for air no. and i was like what's happening i look over and i was like she's about to die like right <laughs> so now. many people about it to was die. terrible <laughs> Well, there's terrible. nothing more depressing than hanging out at a hospital. I mean, yeah, but I'll tell you the greatest God, thing damn. that I've ever experienced is that anesthesia. I yeah. understand why Michael Jackson was like, come over and fill me up with propofol every <laughs> night because <laughs> that so is nice. a sleep that you cannot. I, I told, and I told you that because I, I mean, I came up and I was like, it's the best, right? <sighs> you haven't slept that good in years. No. And then we, well, here's the thing. I, when I finally like get my <laughs> shit together, I'm like, fuck it's so like you're coming out of this haze the nurse sits with me and she's like um she was a nice one she was nice and she's giving me like the post-op stuff she goes i gave it to your wife too but this and that and then she i go do i have something for the pain because i don't feel pain yet you know she goes yeah it's kind of mild though and i was like why and she was like i don't know <laughs> yeah, and i was why? like why don't you give me something stronger and she's like well it's not for me it's from the doctor like you'd have to see him i'm like i'm not gonna fucking find the doctor right now i'm in this hospital so whatever, I leave there, we drive home, and then uh, I take one of the things, I still have that anesthesia running through me, <laughs> I pass out again for like five hours in the middle of the day. Um, Which you never do, you're not never. a big napper. I'm not a real napper, and so I was like, Jesus Christ. And I still don't really realize until the, the next morning I wake up where it, it kind of hits me that that hernia operation is equivalent to being stabbed <laughs> it's so the, the pain is incredible because it's anything that engages your core at all meaning yeah. clearing your throat <clears throat> coughing sitting up reaching for something pushing pulling picking like anything you do you engage your abdominal muscles basically yeah, everything. and it's ex and i have this huge dressing and wound there i mean i was not prepared i was like holy shit I didn't realize, but I didn't even think about my balls. Everybody's right. like, ice your ball. I'm like, I, the, the last thing on my mind is, is the balls. Is your balls, but your balls looked terrible. My balls were black and blue. Yeah, it it looked like, like a I blue got, streak. It yeah. was really weird how symmetrical the bruising was. Because he's got these two nuts, and then there was like a blue stripe down the middle. And I have to say, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm where my mom's at. I may have been like, oh, you sounds crying. Just a little, because I've had two children, and two episiotomies and I've had to shit through stitches, but now after I saw your wound when I took off your dressing, I was like, oh, that's not good. And oh, I so saw your balls. Hold on, I have another fart for you. We're semi-apologizing for diminishing my... I think I think so. Um, it looks bad. I mean, your balls, yeah. when I saw your nuts, I was like, oh, that's not... Yeah, it doesn't feel good. No. It hurts. Do you still feel like jerking off? Do you still feel horny? No. No. No, because the, the um, doctor said <laughs> you had to go. We had to go back to your vasectomy doctor, and we were like, "There's somebody in the world because you have to crank out 20 loads." Yeah, well, he he told me a story. He goes, um, <laughs> "He goes, so I need you to come 20 times." He didn't say come. He said, uh, <laughs> "I need you to blow your I loads." You to, uh, ejaculate. Let me see all that come. <laughs> so he said, uh, "Okay, you come." <laughs> <laughs> what if it was Ed Asner? Yeah, You're he like, goes. Oh my God. He goes, uh, so you're going to need to do 20 ejaculations, like keep track of them, and then after 20, jizz in a cup, bring it here, and we'll tell you if there's any live swimmers, and then you have to have a second verification done wait, before you get the green light. So wait, where do you jizz? You're, do you have to jizz in the parking lot, the last load that you give him? No, no. Where you just, do you come? You're in a cup, and you bring the cup. Like at your house, and then immediately drive it in? No, you don't have to immediately drive it in. You just drive it in. Oh, it's not a rush. Well, well, the sperm is fresh and live. You'd think no, no, that no, he'd no. want a fresh. That doesn't matter. You jerk off in the parking lot? No, no. <laughs> well, he said, I go, he goes, by the way, he goes, you had the hernia. It's going to be a little more painful to get started. So there's no rush. He goes, I had a guy who uh, I told him I needed like uh, 15 to 20 and then to come in here. And he came in here like 48 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, you told me to get them out. He's like, Jesus, man. He's like, you're going to destroy your, your dick, you know? He did it right after yeah, surgery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just kept jerking <laughs> off over and over. Well, 
I, I thought for sure that there would be somebody dumb enough. Because, you know, like, there's... Oh, I dumb... can feel it. <laughs> oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> what if somebody thought that your doctor had jerked you off 20 times yeah, after yeah. you came? And you're well, that's like, why I was like, do you want to do the first one yeah, for me? Yeah, do I, do I make 20 appointments with the doctor and he masturbates How you? How big a load I'm going to swallow. <laughs> so... <laughs> Raycon earbuds. I am a huge fan of Raycon earbuds. Why? Because I have little tiny ears and I go for walks in my neighborhood and I love the way they fit. They last for six hours, which is better than a lot of other earbuds I've tried. The bass is great on them. It's just an overall quality earbud. And here's what I like best is the price. It's about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds on the market. And they sound just as amazing as all those super costly earbuds. Uh, the newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their best ones yet. That's the one I have, the six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing. You know what I like too? As I've tried other earbuds and they just make you look like a dork when you have them in. But the Raycon ones are really cool and comfortable and you don't look like a total nerd alert. So... Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash YMH. That's buyraycon.com slash YMH for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash YMH. But yeah, this is way more painful than I thought. I know. Yeah, and I like that you diminished the pain. I it did. actually makes me hate you now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I love you. I don't. I had two babies. For what does that have to do with so anything to do with anything? So much pain. Let me, let me, let me, let me. This is a narcissistic point of view you're taking all about you. Here we go. Nine months of pregnancy. First no of all. No one cares. We're not talking about that. Two miscarriages. Very painful. We're not talking about that. I did all of this for my, for my family. Just like what you're doing is for your family. I did this for our family. I had, what? I had bad acid reflux I narcissism, had gas. narcissism 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 <sighs> i had to deliver two of her children and had no my, one's talking about you my tits are ruined stop making it about you <laughs> jesus i had to wait in the lobby for like three hours and i the wi-fi wasn't as good as i'd hoped and the food wasn't good in the uh and the cafeteria don't i suffer too for this vasectomy hernia operation no this makes me just think you're such an asshole. <laughs> I guarantee there's going to be such a notable shift in more people hating you. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. A more notable shift. Yeah. After this what? episode comes out. <laughs> what are you talking about? For this, you're, you're being a real jerk. What, you think they hate me already? Well, for sure. But I think more people will hate you now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're being a jerk. I think you just hate me now more. That's true, but I'm with them is what I'm saying. <laughs> Making this about you but and trying to I, diminish my pain. But I, I just apologized. I you just, didn't really apologize. I said I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't. No. I'm sorry. I diminished your pain and I'm sorry. But the snacks were not good in the hospital. Mm. I love you. I don't. <laughs> I don't at all. I don't even a little bit. I think you're a terrible okay. person. Can I read some listener feedback? What are you doing? What are you doing that for? Hey? Why are you doing that? You've attacked my son's car three times. <laughs> you pulled the sticker off it. Are you quite legal to park over somebody's drive? Is it dry? Don't get too close, please, because I don't want to breathe the same air as you. Well, you are, unfortunately. Yes. Well, it's Corona, if you don't mind, so keep back off. You back off! <laughs> you stop vandalising my fucking son's car, all right? You're a bully. Why am I? You're a thief. Just get her in, will you? You like off. stealing from your workplace. Why am I stealing from a workplace? You're a criminal. Now? Why am I a criminal? Well, for one, you're using your phone, aren't you? Oh, it's good evidence, isn't it? Yeah, you Just keep... <laughs> Who is this park person? Over somebody's drive. She's just a, a UK. Oh, this is on TikTok? Mm-hmm. Oh, how did I miss this? Bams. You know what I what I like about her? And I have the same problem is when you have a large chest, you ha have from wearing button-down shirts. This is, by the way, the ghost of Christmas future. Are you quite legal 
This does look like <laughs> to you. To park over somebody's drive. <laughs> you have a similar chest, a similar <laughs> face, and similar hair, and similar shoulders. Mm-hmm. You, I have, can, you have it together like her. I can hey, tell John, you. Don't get too close, please, because I don't want to breathe the same air as you. Yeah. That her hangers are not supported properly. That I think you're not. such an asshole. You're still mad at me? I am. I think you're such a dick. I'm sorry. You mock my pain? I Why? Was I was comparing it. This is before you were really in pain. I filmed. Remember I taped it the day after and you hadn't really. Whoa, whoa. What do you mean? I did wear my mom's out the day after your procedure. You taped it on Friday? I taped it on Friday, yeah. Remember? Yeah. And I was like, oh, Tom's hernia. Like, I was just, you know. You fucking dick. I said I'm sorry. Okay, I hate you. I love you. I hope you get run over by a bus. I'm sorry, I said. Yeah. Listen, I can't wear button-down <laughs> shirts. Fuck right, fuck fuck right? Fuck you fuck out, you Right? I hope that's your new boyfriend. You motherfucker! Right? This ain't your fucking country! You need a bastard! You need a cunt! Fuck you! Right? You go in English! Ain't your fucking country, you little cunt! See, now I feel good because I'm channeling him towards you. Oh, Tom. <laughs> you know, this is awesome. It's good to see that the UK freaks out like we do. He's got on the camera, don't worry. He's on the camera, don't worry. Do you are you imagining that I'm the bus driver? Yes. I'm imagining that you're the bus. <laughs> no, he's putting soda on the bus. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> now he's got cans of beer. There's kids on the bus. He's on the bus. He's opening the door. He's opening the door. Open the door, 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 open the no, no, love me again. No. Do you love me again? No. On a scale of one to ten. Fucking diarrhea shit. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Tom, love me again. No. You love do me. you do. Do not do you. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. You know what's great though is that I always feel like Americans are flipping, are losing their shit on these videos. And it's good to see that the UK can lose their oh, shit. Oh, I think there's a good amount of UK people losing their shit. Maybe it's just that I feel like they're so much more refined than us because of shows like Downton Abbey. I assume that all English people are like the people on Downton Abbey. Yeah. They're just not. No, some of them are, you know, there's people all over the world that don't have their shit together. All over the world. It doesn't matter. But you're slithering most. <laughs> I'm just learning your Basayan language. Your Basayan Stop. language? It's all over your fucking brother. Why? Because we're standing against you. My grandma's right behind you. Fucking traitor. Fucking traitor. Grandma fucking fight. <gasps> She's fucking hot. <laughs> She's super hot. Stop it. <laughs> You're possessed by somebody. Who are you? I'm the Pualani of Guam. I'm the last. I'm the last of the peers bloodline. Tip to toe. I'm a fucking walking mermaid, bitch. <laughs> it's a fucking sky, bitch. Look up at the sky. That's God. You don't appreciate God? Because that's Apollo's greed, October 12th. Oh, Stop. Lucky thing. I'm a fucking blessing, blood. 
I'll fucking make it rain on your ass. That's what all I see is fucking falling stars. That's how we won all fucking 50 states. Stop it already. And the tip of the spear. You're lucky someone's gonna shank you and drink your blood. That's what we do, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> She's cool. I like this chick. I like her too. And I think, I, actually, she is very pretty. She is. And this is the kind of girl it's worth it to go out with, like just to see what happens. Well, you know? now, here's the thing. We talked about crazy chicks. Now, is she going to be a good lay? Yes. That's the good lay. Absolutely. But hold on. It does look a little, uh, she's not too far from the lady at the bus stop in the pink fanny pack and the pink skull cap, right? I mean, remember we saw a person oh. at the bus stop? No, I mean, it's look. If you sleep with her, it's going to be a good experience. Your your living room is going to be set on fire, and you're probably <laughs> going to have your you know your windshield cracked and shit like that. You're going to lose material goods, but you know worth it. Yeah, she might steal your social security. She might <laughs> do things to jeopardize your well being, but it'll be a good lay. You know, yeah. She's uh yeah she she she'll, she'll hurt you. She'll try to hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. But that's exciting for you is what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Th she's exciting. Stop. I'm fucking telling you the truth. You fucking liar. You think I scared you? I'll keep that shit down. You want to see a Spartan kick, bitch? From a mermaid? Huh? Stop. Stop Say it. Say you're sorry then. Kiss my fucking foot. Hurry up before I take your bike. What? That's in a hulu now. I'm feeling boca, dude. You better not touch me, bitch. Now, what language is she speaking? A language, or that's I don't just, know what is, what is what it's spoken in Guam. There's got to be a second language. It's I mean, I know they speak. Mm, it's got to be another <laughs> island language there, right? Oh, Chamoro. Chomo. Chamoro. Oh, not Chomo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> How do you get a job here, you fuck face? <laughs> <laughs> Learn Chomo. Let's you know that he it. did an interview. He did an interview. Who, Conald? Conald. Somebody what? asked him like some of these pressing questions. Yeah, about like baby raper and stuff. <laughs> it's an audio only thing, but they they asked him. Oh. Do you remember me? I do remember you, brother. What's up, man? I just wanted to uh, check on you again and maybe ask you a few more questions if that would be all right. Are you busy, brother? I'm on my way to are you sure I should be talking to you on the road? Isn't that kind of dangerous? Not for me. I'm a smoker. <laughs> it's going to take down cops right now during this call. <laughs> if you're always on the move, then how do you how do you get money? How do you uh, make a living? God gives it to me, brother. I don't know if you're a Christian or not, but everywhere I go, I get a full tank of gas. Is that for free? For free. Uh, yeah. Um, Except in your car, but a lot of your videos kind of show you in different rooms, like like hotel rooms or apartments or something. And I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, well, I usually run into a lot of hot babes on the road here doing what <laughs> I do. I run into a lot of different chicks or different people out here, and I know a lot of people. Cool. Knows a lot of people. Knows a lot of people. Is baby raper a legitimate term? Like, are they legitimately baby rapers, or is it just like a term? Yeah. Yeah. I like that he's that well thought out. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like familiar with the term slander. He's like, mm. I know. I've gotten phone calls about slander a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. He's I don't think I've it. ever actually heard of anyone who's a legitimate baby raver. It's slang for uh, a pedophile. You know, pedophile isn't as strong as the word baby raper. You know. Yeah. I think baby raper's got more of a punch to it, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it does have more of a punch to it. Thank you. Have you ever been shot? I have been shot. I've been stabbed. I've been cut. I've been... Uh, I believe it. I've been everything you can be, but I've never been beat up. So <laughs> that's... that's uh, when I get beat up, I'll quit doing what I do. Oh, okay. Well, wow. Never okay. been beat up, but he's been shot and stabbed. <laughs> So did you ever actually put anyone away? Because I think you said something about putting some guy called Jess Sad away or something like that. That was a chief of police. I took him down. Yeah, that was a chief of police. What state was that in? Harvard, Nebraska. Yeah. Hey, you live on top of my work there, bro. What's your name? Yeah. My name is uh, Matt. All right, buddy. Nice to meet you. 
Yeah. So what is the origin of this? I mean, this guy's asking all the important questions. Yeah, it was a guy that uh, that just went through, like, found Fed Smoker and then had an interview with him. Um, hmm. I think Zolo actually prepped it. Zolo, do you have any background info on him? Yeah, because he's very well versed in this guy's career yeah. as a Fed Smoker. Yeah, so this guy, he was just a, a fan of Fed Smokers and he found him through YouTube and he managed to contact him through uh, one of his many YouTube channels and he got his phone number <laughs> and he just was willing to do an interview when, and then he, when he just answered the phone answered all these questions and then like 20 minutes and he's like hey what's your name yeah <laughs> just like yeah <laughs> answers all these he's like who are you yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by the way so wait how long ago was this um several years back i i don't remember the exact year wow that's pretty crazy that this guy had a fan base essentially yeah before yeah. we picked up on his work this guy really, he, I mean, one of the things about him is that he set up so many YouTube channels. Like that guy that we interviewed last week, remember he was saying, I remember in one of his video, in one of his videos, he was insulting him for like, oh, did you move to this or this? Because he doesn't just stay in one place. He just has like 15 YouTube channels, which obviously is, you know, it's the mystery of Fed Smoker. Uh, you have to like hunt down all the clues, but it's also a burden to anybody trying to follow him. You're like, you have yeah. fucking 15 channels, man? What are you doing? It adds to the lore, to the yeah. legend. Of... Say again? You there, Mr. Uh, Fed Smoker? I'm not sure what's going on here. He All sounds right, like Fed it. Smoker, too, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's the interview. <laughs> he does make a good point that Baby Raper is a little... Harsher. It's a bit of a more of a punch because pedophile does sound more clinical yeah he's got a good point there yeah yeah he's really good at branding uh but that guy that interviewed him sounded a little like the fed smoker he kind of yeah he did he's like uh so yeah why baby raper he's like emulating Sir fed smoker he's Sir like <laughs> <laughs> interesting that you caught on to that <laughs> Um, Can I read some listener feedback? Yeah, so what's the, what, just just general feedback? Just going through the emails, I like to keep right. up uh, the pulse of the show. This is from episode five sixty, uh, a pilot's perspective. Hey, Tom and Christine, I'm an airline pilot and fly for a U.S. based airline. As I was watching episode five sixty, I heard you mention that some flight attendants are real dogs. I have to agree with you, as I've seen plenty. <laughs> Some so big they walk sideways down the aisles. <laughs> As for Potter's comments, we have many cool black guy flight attendants. They exist. I love the podcast and always keep them high and tight. Uh, oh, this is from Christina. This is a lady oh. who's writing this. So that's even more interesting that she agrees that some flight attendants are real Our dogs. dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's right. They certainly are. Yeah. Thanks, Christina. That's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should make a uh, no dogs allowed policy yeah, I agree. for the flight attendants, I male agree. or female. Okay, so we were discussing Darman last episode, and uh, he's really put a special place in your heart. Everybody that I've sent, I've sent his videos to friends, like, you know, not people that listen to the podcast, right? and they all all react the same way. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, What is this? He yeah. he upsets you a lot. I, I, yeah. I sense that it really sticks in your crow what what particularly upsets you the it's most it's nonsense it's yeah. just such utter nonsense and people that, by the way have suggested to me some people that um that he is like uh using bots for views yes. and, like that he employs like a factory of bots somewhere to to drive to this up jack up the numbers mm -hmm. yeah we i i sense that because they're so bad they are bad and I, but i have to admit that i enjoy bad to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah, yeah, like it's I amusing. Like it. It's funny So how but, bad it is. Yeah. and um, but I, I mean, the lessons are so, like, basic. And I know. so rudimentary. Like, to have, you know, don't mistreat a poor person. What? I know. Like, like, gosh. But um, he does seem a little inauthentic. Like, at the end when he's like, oh, hey, Jordan Man fam. It's kind of like. Hey, guys, remember, we're not just <laughs> making videos. We're changing lives. Yeah. Well, you're just making videos. Dear Mommies, after listening to Darman's cool videos and hearing your curiosity, I found I can easily tell you the target audience. T 
teenagers. Mm -hmm. As a high school faculty member, I can tell you they are in great need of this basic human guidance and that I would consider using these videos with students. Why, you ask? Well, I know of or have witnessed teenagers urinating on homeless man's bedroll and back, <laughs> referring to dented cans and bottles as having Down syndrome, bouncing their hands off black students' hairdos, and tricking overweight students into streaking on camera while blindfolded. What? What? Darman's videos have the potential to teach these subhumans how to not get murdered in the real world. Thanks, Darman. So Don't be stingy, Paul. This is somebody suggesting... That these are best for teenagers? Right, people who don't know proper behavior. But like, heavily damaged Heavily, teenagers. seriously. Someone in rehab or something. Yeah, it's people who really don't understand yeah. how to live, you know? Yeah, Christian uh, community maybe watches it or... Yeah, it's like those old... Um, Dar has, by the way, Dar has felony charges that they... Uh, I know. Yeah, for fraud and forgery. <laughs> yeah, legit, <laughs> legit charges. Oh, yeah. here it is. Yeah, they charge him with four counts of grand theft, two counts of attempted grand theft, six counts of forgery. So he's... um. Wow. Yeah, but that was before I started making these videos, man. <laughs> sure. That is... They're just strange. The videos are fucking strange, man. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's just... The world is a special yeah. place. Okay, five strokes dental update. I recently listened to your podcast where you mentioned your new hygienist five stroke flossing technique. Remember I, yeah. I mentioned that I was told that to you're know not doing it right, that I wasn't flossing correctly. Yeah. And so she said, you have to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. At first I thought she was batshit crazy, like fed smoker crazy, but decided to try it out as a regular flosser. I was a bit surprised to see thick, hot, red blood, more blood, than <laughs> there's ever been in my life, especially since I didn't smoke any meth first and figured maybe it was a good thing. Mm -hmm. My gums were so sensitive afterwards, <laughs> but flossing is supposed to be painful, right? Anyways, Crazy Patty is onto something and I'll continue to five stroke it. Uh, P.S. It shouldn't take, quote, 10 minutes unless you're completely R worded. Love you, mommy. Piss on me, beat me, Megan. Mm -hmm. So that's really interesting that you guys are now trying the five stroke flossing technique and let me know if it works for you we could start a whole new five stroke flossing movement but i feel there. like a, a, the flossing technique has to be out there already right i mean this is is this new it was new to me and hmm. as somebody that prides themselves on being a yeah a you've flosser, always been a big flosser but now i'm into the soft stick floss and i i go through it every night i give i do five 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 and that's been really helpful for me so uh let me know if you guys uh, our fucking Jew friend. Um, that clip that says he's not a fucking Jew. Yeah, that's that's not the way I would introduce <laughs> our friend. I wouldn't say it like that. <laughs> I, would, I would totally revise the way I'm I sorry. bring up that well, guy. How, how do you bring him up? I don't know. How do you? Our say mouse it? pad friend. Oh, the mouse pad guy. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I am a fucking Jew. Okay, yeah. that guy. Yes. Her yummy pussy. <laughs> yes. The yummy pussy guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, mommies. Homeboy is a Jew and not Russian because Ashkenazi Jews are both a race and religion. Because of the rampant Emma rampant, because of the rampant anti-Semitism in the Slavic world, a lot of Jews don't see themselves as Russian but ethnically Jews. For example, my mother was born in the USSR and what today would be Ukraine. She spoke Ukrainian, the local dialect, and Russian, which is why they taught them in school, and she had a Russian name. But when I did 23andMe, I found that I don't have even a little bit of Slavic blood in me. Um, just 60% fucking Jew from my mom's side. So there you go. So that's just an interesting pr perspective. It's both a race and a religion. What do you yeah, think, yeah. Uh, Nadav? Any thoughts? Yeah, absolutely agree. I mean, yeah. that's why you could look at someone and be like, oh, yeah, that's did that's you a see did you <laughs> did you see the uh, Oakland A's coach that that whole storyline? No. So what, can what you go to my Twitter? You'll see if you if you go to uh, my Twitter, because this Google this got. Uh, yeah, some people I, I couldn't believe that anybody like took issue. Just scroll here, scroll a little more. You'll see the video a little bit more there. This guy. OK. And then, <laughs> so, so that that coach <gasps> got in some heat, right? Oh, wow. So apparently the A's, they do uh, 
karate chops instead of uh, fist bumps. Duck, duck, duck. You yeah, know, it's when they come Is that up. how you do karate chops? No, no. So I'm, I'm <laughs> giving you the full story. So they do karate chops like a, instead of fist bumps. You can see some of them doing this, right? Yes. So that guy is waiting for players and he has arm extended, palm down. Um, and then you can see that one of the players grabs his arm and is like, hey, probably don't, don't do it like that. And then he does body language that suggests like, yeah, you're right. I shouldn't do the Z. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> so he does it again. <laughs> yeah, he's like, um, and whatever. I, I don't think uh, his life should be over. But I just made a comment, uh, you know, mockery kind of of it above there. Um, right. Where I say, what's the big deal? <laughs> it's just the standard salute you use to greet the Fuhrer or the folks or the fellows after a double play. Baseball is back. <laughs> so many people were like, you're inflaming this. Oops, You're like, stop. sorry. <laughs> sorry that I quoted uh, a, a video of a guy who's clearly <laughs> has his arm extended. Like Ze everybody else is doing this, by the way, just has the <laughs> elbow out. He has. I mean, I don't like uh, I don't want you to fucking uh, bash him, his brains in and, and you know, ruin no. his life. But like I can make fun of him for that. Right. Of course you can. And he clearly acknowledges it's a yeah, mistake. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's my bad. Like, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. This guy right here is like, yeah. dude, put your fucking arm down. Just happens. He's like, oh, yeah, it was. Looks like I'm oh, saluting yeah. Hitler, doesn't it? And then he does it again. <laughs> like, okay, dude. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just a commonsensical thing, and people get really crazy over this <laughs> kind of stuff. Then somebody brought up, they were like, that's the way we used to do the Pledge of Allegiance. That was, a, I mean, there's so many people that got mad that people were um, making fun of this guy and highlighting this, that like you, you, you heard all the different spins on it. Somebody was like, that was the standard way to do this Pledge of Allegiance. Like, this wasn't during the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, what are you, what are you talking about? about? So uh, apparently before it was hand over heart, it was arm extended like that. And I'm like, yeah, but th this arm? has nothing they did. <laughs> the I Pledge was like this? I wonder when that changed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Wait, Tom. In the 30s? The Pledge <laughs> was like this? No, the Pledge was arm extended. Oh, like to see Kyle yes, the flag? That, oh, yes. no. Google that. Yeah, Let's yeah. That's see. what they said. That was the old way to... To see Kyle the American flag? Well, you weren't Zeke Heiling. That was just uh, apparently how it was done. Oh, how funny. Uh, yeah, the Bellamy salute. Can you, can you, can you look up Bellamy salute? <laughs> That's what it's called. And then images or something? Yeah, Google. There oh. you go. <laughs> oh, my so, God, we did. Yeah, see, see it's towards the American flag right there. Oh, and that's before. Right. But somebody brought that up. It's like, yeah, this wasn't during the national anthem. No. And he wasn't like, I'm really married to the old <laughs> 20th, early 20th century way of saluting the flag. It's like, it's not what's happening. Yeah. But it is peculiar, right? Yeah. It's pretty funny, though. Yeah. Always funny. Mm. Yeah, man. Salute the flag however you want. That's the only thing I really wanted to make clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's your flag. Do whatever you want. Learning another language has always been on my to-do list, and now I realize there's no better time to start. If you're looking to learn a new language, Babbel can help you become a fluent speaker faster than you think. I've actually been trying to do French for a while now. I tried it um, in high school after I finished Spanish. I was like, I'll try French, and didn't do so well. Um, but I've always missed it, and the fact that it's right there, you know, I know I have the capacity to do it. This is a great tool where you end up, you know, you're practicing with the app, you're listening to uh, uh, native speakers say it, you're having to remember, um, coordinate, you know, words with images. It's fantastic. It can help you pick it up fast. A lot of uh, uh, skills that you need to learn language are right there in the app. A lot of times that can be intimidating, but not with Babbel. It's proven to get you speaking a language within weeks. They design a course for you. Right now, when you purchase a three-month subscription, Babbel will give our listeners three additional months for free with promo code MOM. That's three additional months free if you go to Babbel.com. Use the promo code MOM on your three-month subscription. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, promo code MOM. You've probably heard us talking about Brooklyn and Sheets. We're huge fans. We sleep on them every night, but... Have you tried the Brooklyn and towels? Now that is a game changer. You know me, I historically have not <laughs> towel dried myself off completely uh, because I'm lazy and frankly, I've never had towels that I've liked as much as I enjoy my Brooklyn and towels. Um, they basically transform your bathroom into a miniature spa and it's just 
they're lovely. They're soft. I like to stay in my towels all day. Sometimes I keep my towels on um, all day in between showers just so I can shower again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's your, here's what you're going to do. Brooklinen is the perfect place to find all the comforts for home, including ultra soft towels. They are so confident in their product that everything comes with a lifetime warranty. Use promo code MOM for 10% off your first order at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Promo code MOM, Brooklinen. Everything you need to live your most comfortable life. So... Oh, but speaking of so our friend, flat. our mouse pad friend. Yeah. Uh, you say he's for sure uh, a Jewish man, but I bring to you this evidence. <laughs> Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Thank you. Ave, oh. Ave, Ave Maria. That is a Catholic That's man. That's beautiful, yes. And In heaven, the blessed, <laughs> your glory proclaim. Mm -hmm. On earth, we, your children, invoke your sweet name. Yeah. Ave, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria. Her yummy pussy. Yeah. Yeah. 100% kosher. <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely needs to change the batteries in his smoke detector. That is one of the things that moves you up on the YMH playlist <laughs> is when you don't change the batteries on your smoke detector. Um, but I tell you, all I have to hear is two chirps. And I'm changing the battery. Like yeah. it doesn't, even if I it don't chirps know how anyone sits through four in the endless morning. chirps, chirp, um, chirp, chirp. <laughs> oh, we've gotten up at four in the morning to change no. batteries. Yeah, I, I change it right away. Yep. It's pretty great. No way. No way, Jose. No thanks, Tom Hanks. That's the new one. Is that a new one? Instead of saying no way, Jose, you can say no thanks, Tom Hanks. Who, who, when did that start? TikTok. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> it's in my stories. No thanks, Tom Hanks. Instead of saying, no way, Jose, you say, no thanks, Tom Hanks. Okay. This is our lyrics to a song. No. I don't know. Okay. It was on my um, stories feed. Okay. Yeah. No thanks, Tom Hanks. So what do you make of this um, proud Jewish man converting yeah. to Catholicism? What's going on? And how soon will you do it? I think he's just very <laughs> learned. You know, he's yes. trying to cover the bases. I mean, we all know that by blood he is still fucking jewish and yes. kosher yes um <laughs> and it's you know it's wild because i know like from my perspective i've yeah. never heard these songs before i don't know how to spell santa claus like this guy is putting himself mm -hmm. out there and learning yeah so he's po he's polytheistic he's learning that's true maybe he's trying to get well a hats off to you sir because you are big on you know learning a lot knowing a lot of people you have your mouse pads you have your jewish faith <laughs> and now you've just you Looks like you made the full leap into uh, Catholic gear and, and, and songs. And learning to sing, which learning is always sing. a good thing to expand your interests. That's true. That is very true. Very proud of you, sir. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. <laughs> you ready for an update You're there? You're so in love with him. There's an update. Oh, God. If you watch the live show, you, of course, got to see <laughs> him pull the skin back on his dick and, uh, <laughs> and have see Mark fuck him. But this is something that we can show you that's another update. <laughs> You don't have to be just wanting. I want real bad too. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh Jesus! Oh. Oh okay. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to be in your arms, mm -hmm. laying either under you or on top of you. Yeah. Or just standing there holding each other. I don't care. It's yeah. a good way to start. It is a nice way. Oh. oh. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, yes. No, yes. I can't see the bottom part yet. No, nope. you'll have to walk back. There you go. Now I can see it, but now I have to move mine. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. So that you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I want to get you, too. I, I think we each have a good mouthful and... and uh, we can have some good fun. That's right. Well, you, you're not, you're not hard on the eyes, and I like your personality. 
Yeah. Let me put it this way. You're, you're not coarse or gruff, but you're not pansy either. You're just right. You're just, just the kind of man I want. Nice. Yep. Especially now for me. I thought mine was going to be easier uh, at this time, but mm. no, I, I remember my grandmother whenever something like this happens. Because when I was growing up, when I was growing up and, and I had plans and then they changed with no for no cause that I caused, you know, Wait, and I'd complain Tom. about it. And, and my grandma used to tell me, well, son, she'd say, man proposes and God disposes. So don't worry about it. He knows what he's doing. Tom. I yeah. Said, okay, okay, grandma, I won't. I won't worry about it then. Is is he masturbating and telling a story about his gammy? Yeah. At the same time. Well, yeah. I mean, his grandma <laughs> has nothing to do with why he's masturbating. His grandma <laughs> is really to share the story about how things can happen for any reason and change. You know. Oh, it's a it's a story of change. It's yeah, like yeah, a parable yeah. or like whatever. He's like that's what my mom used to say. You prepare for a guy with a little dick. He's got a big dick. You're dead. <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, they're there, but like I say, I'm built in such a way that uh, yeah. they, they, they hang very far back. They don't, they don't, uh, they don't hang down. They just, they're just back and very, very close to the, to the top. They're not baggy. Got it. It doesn't matter how warm it gets. I okay. can be sweating like a, like a black man and, oh. and they don't <laughs> what? Uh, what? go down. What? What? That Asner is racist. <laughs> I didn't know that black people sweat more than everyone else. What? Did you know that? No. Sweating like a like a black man. What? I had no idea. Just like a, there's no other, there's, wait, hold on. There's no additional thing to the metaphor? Just sweating like a black man? Yeah. Not, I, it's like sweating like a I, black man in whatever. Right, right. Whatever, or Out, whatever outside the, in the, yeah, no. This is, <laughs> this is just a, you know how blacks are. <laughs> <laughs> Always sweating. Yeah, there's usually a second part of that. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. just in general, just like all, yep. all of the black guys. Black man in a warehouse or something, right? <laughs> right, something. there's nothing that he's doing. Black man hauling sand. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there's <laughs> always something, but... Well, let me just bring the camera to me. There you no, go. No, please Th think don't. Think that it satisfy, satisfy that nice mouth of yours? Oh, my God. Well, I know yours will be tasting <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, I love and this filling. guy. Filling? Like a meal? No. Is oh. it? Is there? That's that's my hole. That, that's where it spits. Oh. Well, I'll have to check that later. But I I can't see. I've never never noticed it. And I clean myself. Oh, good. there's something on the hole. No, I'm. I'll check it. I'll check it. Yeah. That's... Well, I can't. I can't do the camera. And yeah, I'm holding the camera. Let me see. Let me let me see let me see if I can oh, set it shit. here so that it'll look down enough. I'd like there to hear Mark's voice. In this. It's not going to get hard till I'm ready to come, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know what I, I have? <laughs> what? I've got an appreciation for Ed's use of language. He really has a flowery, descriptive style of communication. Well, you're really going to like these next couple oh, clips. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you for... Well, I can already feel that warm mouth god it's been a long time oh i'm trying i'm trying to imagine you sucking on it i don't like oh, it i can love to feel your mouth oh, fuck. oh yeah oh, 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 oh. god i'm gonna be oh, sick oh, 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 oh. i have to have lunch after this i don't think i can i'm gonna fucking vomit this is so gross. I'm gonna need therapy after this. Jesus Christ, just come already. All right. How long does this guy take? All right. I wanna die. Oh my God, will you kill me, please? I wanna die after hearing that. This is so horrible. Oh, it's been a long time. <laughs> oh, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I am all wet now, sweaty. Yeah. It's like right. a black guy? I have to go take a shower anyway. Okay. I'll do the same. That's it? That's the end of the thing? He's That's like, it. all right. Guys, get, gotta go shower now. Yep. Bye, Come Mark. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. Yeah. Oh. 
Thank God. That's Sweating how he's like, sign- like a black man. <laughs> <laughs> he just signs off. That's yeah. it with Mark. Like he's really one of those guys that he dumps and he runs away. Right? Yeah. That's how guys are. That was so fantastic. That is that has made me almost forget about how much I hate you today. I thought you were over that. <laughs> Don't be pleased with yourself, Nadav. Uh, Nadav's happy because he, he brought you a good clip, and now Nadav's pleased with himself that you it's enjoyed pretty great. it. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> it's not going to get hard until I'm ready to come. I'm going to throw... Don't we have any clips of That's dads? Somebody's grandfather. Dads and trains or oh. something. I mean, is oh there no? Oh my god! Is there anything more innocent we could? Uh, <laughs> remember that episode where we tried to be clean for twenty whole minutes? Yeah, that was boring. Everyone hated that. There's something about. Yeah. That's my hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it spits. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine having to go down on that. No. Yeah. Thank God, no. Yep. I just don't like how dis- descriptive he'd be towards me. I'd be like, oh. okay, you come. Like, like that? <laughs> okay, you come. <laughs> Your turn. Mark. You come now. What if he said it to show, you? Show me. Show me that mouth. <sighs> come. 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 <laughs> okay, Let Tom. Let me see all that come. Let me see all that come. You've got a real... A colorful beard, Tom. Jeez. I want to see that cum rubbed into your beard. Oh, fuck. All right, Tom. It's not going to get hard till I'm ready to cum. Oh, <laughs> God. What a oh, nightmare. God, he is the best. He is the best. Oh, I fucking hope there's more videos hidden somewhere that we discover over time. Really just such a wonderful man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that orgasm was something that, that was had. a lot <laughs> I mean he thought he sounded like he was gonna die during that I know he was really struggling I know what if he has a heart attack he's not in good shape you yeah know? he could yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well it's true he's it's that true big hooshy on him I know you gotta take care of yourself yeah. for a number of reasons one of them is that you could you could die while coming you know <laughs> If you don't take care of yourself. That's absolute truth. Yeah. 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 You can have a heart attack. Is uh well Well, at least he was having fun with Mark. Yeah. He and Mark had a good time together. Do you think it's always with Mark or there's the different guys on the other end? Um I think he's a lot of his with just with Mark. Hmm. I really do. Um well, you I know one thing you bet you he is gonna come up <laughs> <to> <laughs> <see> <laughs> out. You bet I'm gonna come see you. You're good and bad. <laughs> Tony, oh Tony, Tony, Tony Johns. Let's let live in the mood. So yes. Tony Johns, uh, yeah, to switch switch speeds here, uh, has weighed in on a lot of things. You know, <laughs> don't do it. It's bad. It's don't bad. drink and drive. And then oh, I got a DUI, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so <laughs> you know, he's got a lot of opinions. He doesn't always yeah. follow his own advice. But yeah, I love Tony. You know what? I haven't. I've thought about Tony a lot in this regard. Yeah, but I haven't actually had the information from him i've been wondering <laughs> these last few months what are his thoughts on covid19 on coronavirus right. um and luckily today we're like hey got an update oh fantastic tony's did, weighing in did he release an official statement i think him and fauci coordinated this together so it's this is actual <laughs> national health institute in conjunction with dr tony Johns. oh wow so let's hear Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know, I just want to let everybody know, you know, this COVID, you know, 19 virus, it's getting, you know, pretty dangerous, you know? Yeah, no. I personally (laughs) am super, super spooked out about this Mm COVID-19, you know? I, you know, I, you know, I feel bad, you know? Because all you really got to do, you know, is shower and wash your hands, you know? And it's like a lot of people, they don't, they don't do that. Uh-huh. You know, so what I'm asking <laughs> from people, you know, is just to wash your hands, you know, shower, shower. you know, distance yourself. There See, you I'm, I'm, I'm on a self quarantine right now. I'm not, you know, having any girls. I'm not. Well, I. That's very thoughtful. 
I I partied with a girl last night, oh. but oh, what I'm saying though is I'm gonna self quarantine myself. Starting you now, know? I've I've been in quarantine. I haven't seen well last night. <laughs> but last night, okay. to people, you know, if more people would self quarantine, mm-hmm. you know, if more people would, you know, not go out, Jesus. you know, with they the would you know, home, you know, I've been making, you know, my spaghettios at home. Okay. Uh, by the way, <laughs> Emily, you left. Your coat in my place about three weeks ago. I need you to come scoop up this coat, you Emily. Said, you just said to stay home. Quarantining. But that is you a know, nice coat. This is your jacket. And yes, I am wearing a female's jacket. But what I'm going to say, though, is... Yeah, it's kind of cool. It fits pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways... What I'm going to say, though, is seriously, this COVID-19 it's has serious, got right? to stop. <laughs> okay. Please wash your hands. And shower. Please. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> that was weird. Is that yeah. Siri? Yeah. Just turned on. She's turned um, on by Tony Johns. That was so bizarre. <laughs> well, but, it was bizarre. But I, I, I love Tony. and I And too. thank you for taking this pandemic seriously um, and, and encouraging people not just to socially distance and wash their hands, but also to shower. Um, and to uh, stay home unless you had a girl come through the night before, in which case you got to start quarantining now. Right, <laughs> and the other girl that left her jacket at your house three weeks ago yeah. too. Then she came by. Too. You wanna you wanna see what this you know champ just did? Uh, uh, is there a supercut? Yep. of the you know. The you knows. <laughs> You know, 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 COVID, you know, 19, you know, 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 I mean, that might be a record. That might be a record. Really good work. That's really a lot of you knows. That's a lot of you knows. A lot of you knows. We've had a lot of people say, you know, I'm saying, you know, I mean, COVID, you know, 19 virus. So ridiculous. COVID, you know, 19, 19 virus. virus. And don't COVID, forget, you know, you need to, uh, you, you know, know, shower and wash your hands. You gotta shower, though. But you have to wash Literally, your... none of the <laughs> medical would be like, make sure you shower. <laughs> no, you can get away with just washing your yeah, hands. Yeah, the hands are a real That's big enough. part. Your <laughs> armpits, they don't really matter as much. I mean, you should shower on your own. <laughs> Would you even but, trust Tony John's quarantining? Nah. No way, right? What do you think he's really doing? Because he, he is out of jail and he's doing his community service. I think he's done with that. I want to say he's probably done with that. Yeah. Um, but he's still trying. You know, he's a party guy. So I'm wondering if this has been really, really difficult for him. And COVID, you know, 19. COVID, you know, 19 has been difficult. Virus. Yeah. For a guy that par- parties and stuff. Yeah, yeah. This has got to be really tough on him. I mean, half the staff is that way. The party boys. You know? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I know. But for Tony Johns, especially, that was his whole persona. And, yeah. you know, take your uvas, you know. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know. You know, like dead ass, though. Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is a more subdued Tony Johns than yeah. I used to see. I got a DUI, baby. <laughs> Woo! COVID, you know, 19 virus. <laughs> Idiot. Um, COVID, you, you know, know, 19, 19 virus. virus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll like this because you always like this kind of thing. Sure. What are you doing, you fucking clown? You just took a shite in my garden, you freak. Clean up. Here, you come anywhere near me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get the f- here. Here, look at the state you. you just, I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. Here. <laughs> just take a shite in my garden. <laughs> you just take a. Oh, here. That's brilliant, huh? <laughs> <You're ready. laughs> yeah. That's fucking exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, what do you do though? It's hilarious. What do you do when you got a shit like that? You shit in this person's garden. You do, right? Yeah. Cuz obviously If it's an emergency. I mean, this has got to be yeah. an emergency and, shit, right? And especially during COVID, it's not like public restrooms are open and that available shit is right now. So fucking ridiculous. You walk around anywhere, you're like, I got to pee and they're like, not here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the problem is that D- your your bowels needs are still consistent, but you don't have those safe haven toilets to go to anymore. There's so many places too that don't, just don't let you pee anyways. 
I know. It's so like, fucked Even like up. during regular time, you can walk I into a store. And be like, I got a. They're like, oh, there's no bathroom here. Where am I? Like, I'm a human being. I know. Citizen. I would like to. You. I have to go to the bathroom. They're to like, find one. Shit. Not here. Well, and you know they're lying to you because of course. employees have to they piss go. And shit. Yeah, but that's not for the public. Well, if they it's, if that's a place rude. says that that sells things though, you got to be like, oh, I'm not going to buy anything from you. No, fuck yeah. you. I'll tell you the best thing ever was when I was shopping for maternity clothes once, and there was a, a, a restroom that they purposely had for pregnant ladies so that you could pee as you were shopping, which was really smart. Yeah, that's fair. And they should have that everywhere. That they you should. Can, you, because when you eat and drink, you have to shit right away. Everyone's got to go to the bathroom. I don't and know what the fucking problem is. But I do like that this guy laughed at this versus like yeah, Karen. Yeah, getting really upset and yeah. trying to hurt him or something. Yeah, like obviously the guy had to shit. Nobody this, wants to shit. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Whoop. I wear my Whoop all day, every day. Literally 24-7. It keeps track of everything. All my rest, all my recovery, and all my strain it has a built-in coach. It lets me know, hey, you should get to sleep. It lets me know you should be more active. And it breaks it down in, a, in an amazing way. I mean, to the very last details, the st- uh, details about your breathing, uh, when you sleep, your heart rate. Uh, the level of strain that you can get to. And it's something that people are using in all walks of life. I mean, you know, uh, doesn't matter whether you're digging ditches or you're a pro athlete, you have insight into your body that gives you a target what to do, how to work out, how to rest and recover. I'm fascinated by it. I think you will be too. Our listeners, Whoop is offering 15% off with the code YOURMOM at checkout. Go to Whoop. W-H-O-O-P dot com. Enter your mom at checkout and save 15%. Sleep better, recover faster, train smarter, optimize your performance with Whoop. Is this really the sissy of Fremont Street? He's back? What? Wait. Wow. What? Hold on. Oh, God, I missed that guy. The sissy of Fremont. You guys maybe don't remember him. How can I forget? Hi. I'm looking for a white lady that's tattooed and dominant and be willing to put me in a dress yeah. and beat the shit out of me. Call me. I'm the sissy of Fremont Street. Yeah. Hi. I remember him. He's so sweet. In Fremont. Sissy Gemini. Yeah. Again, you stupid white bitch. That's what I'm looking <laughs> for is a stupid tattooed white bitch that would put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Call me. You got a tattoo? I got one tattoo. I'm waiting, you white slut. <laughs> Again, he does that thing where he kind of, he leads with, I want to be submissive. And then he's insulting. It's like yeah. this switch going on. It's confusing That's for me. It's very confusing. I'm not sure what he wants. Yeah. What but you're interested want? either way. I'm intrigued. You're not sure what he wants, but you're interested. <laughs> I like that he puts me off kilter like that emotionally. Yeah. That's the allure of the sissy of Fremont. Sissy you of Fremont You don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. But he wants you, he wants me to put him in the dress and insult him, right? He wants... A pretty white tattooed bitch, put him in a dress, insult him, degrade him, probably whip him and call him names. Okay. But at the same time, he's calling this presumed dominant person. He's insulting her. Yeah. That's, that's really, I don't think you're supposed to. Are you supposed to insult your dog? I don't think so. Yeah. I, I thought that was the whole point is that you're submissive. So I, I don't, I'm confused. Yeah. So let's see what the update Woo, is here. I'm pretty you excited. You know what I'm saying? Do a dance for you. Well, do a dance for you. That um this I don't think this is good. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't I don't it's like it. It's not good, it's great. I don't like it. This is a fantastic video. This definitely made me jump inside. That made you feel bad. Yep. Not the fucking, <laughs> that's my pee hole. It's where the spit comes out of, Mark. <laughs> nope. That doesn't freak you out? This does. This does. Yes. Wow. This, you and I have vastly different this tastes. This would make me, like, if you walk down a hallway in a hotel and this was in the hallway, I, I could feel, like, my adrenaline surge and my fight or flight thing go through the roof oh no i think this is fun this guy's harmless what yeah come on mark seems to me so who would here's, you here's scarier i'll tell you why come on mark is scarier no way at asner because 
he can pass for normal. Ed Asner can sell you an insurance policy and then has this dungeon side to him. Mm -hmm. The sissy of Fremont, uh, he can't cover. Like he's the sissy of Fremont all the time because he's crazy. Woo, 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 do, do, do. Mother buck, mother buck. Fuck all you motherfuckers and you assholes. Come on, punk motherfuckers. Let's get it on. Come on, you lousy scum sucking dogs. Yeah. Punk motherfuckers. Mm -mm -mm. I like it. Well, he changed his hair. Yeah, he did. The hair is not the same. Hey, come on and give me a hand job, too. Mm -hmm. hmm. Who would you rather sexually be with? This Ed is or this Fremont. Guy? Jesus. Don't know hesitation. Really? Yeah. Well, for one thing, this guy likes girls and he likes a that, You got to take that out of there. Take, so take, pretend take, that I'm Mark, like I'm a guy. No, just pretend you're you and that that Ed's thing is just, you know, just take the, the male out of it. Right. Like he likes chicks. Yeah, he likes chicks. I think I'm, 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 I'm more comfortable with 100% crazy. Like at least I know like this guy is just, he's on another planet. This is how I know you, you have poor judgment. That Asner can pass for normal and therefore is more scary to me because Fuck. he's weirdo behind closed I'm doors. I'm telling you, I know not to let you make decisions. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do oh, you well, think? Oh, well, come on. Who would I rather be with? Yeah. The sissy of Fremont or Ed Asner? Yeah. Ed Asner. Yeah. He's respectful. Yeah. He Like, I, I, I give him direction on like, hey. Can you imagine you what's growing in, on behind this guy's, what's behind his door? Like <laughs> the kind of shit that's in sissies. Yeah, literal closet. skeletons. Skeletons yeah, in his apartment. Peaceful. Like, ah, I think Ed ah, Asner ah. would lure you in with the with pretending to be normal, and then he would stab you fifty times and bury you. No, no. no Ed the, Asner's a sweetheart. In the carpet. No. No. no, he's nicer than your grandpa. You know. Yeah. He's, he's like a. But then he makes you jerk off in front of him. So no, he doesn't make you. You guys both agree on it. That's together. where it fits. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Please don't. I don't like it. God. If you're going to play Guys Coming, at least do RPC for me. Oh, yeah. Get off. I like yeah. it. I like oh, it. get off. Yeah, I'm going to calm down. <laughs> I like a catchphrase if you're going to do it. The problem uh, with that is he doesn't have a good catchphrase. Who's that? And Asner doesn't say anything when he comes. He says beautiful things. Let me hear. Um, he just he just goes. I'm gonna come, Mark. I'm gonna come. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he doesn't have like a phrase like get. Yeah, Especially now for me, I thought mine was gonna be easier uh, at this time, but you know, I, I remember my grandmother whenever <laughs> something like this happened. Yeah, the, the they're there, but like I say, balls don't. I'm built in such a way that. Uh, they, they they hang very far back. No, is it? Is there? This is way that's, more normal. That's my hole. That, that's where it spits. Well, I'll have to check that later. But I I can't see. I can already feel that warm mouth. God, it's been a long time. I just don't want to hear all this oh, chatter. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to up. imagine. I don't like it. You what do you not like? On it. Oh, I can love to it's feel just... your mouth. Oh yeah. It's just, it's just a. But here's the thing, the sissy of Fremont is so whacked oh that you God. may not even have to do all this. The sissy stuff of Fremont with him. could be dropped into seven, <laughs> and just like be any of the like the the serial killer. But he's like, ah, ah, ah. let's ask Chris. Chris is a balanced person. Okay, you're the normalist of all of us. The most normal. Who do you choose? Yeah, Ed Asner. I mean, I think he's an Academy Award winner too. So. And oh, by the way, true. do you have a uh, a debate about which of these guys? Like, is it a real hard choice? No. <laughs> like, what does your your normal brain tell you is to stay away from? I mean, this is your Fremont. He's yeah. terrifying. <laughs> Thank you. He's terrifying. I mean, I'm serious. I, it really makes me question. I don't think he's that terrifying. Maybe because I'm used to crazy. I mean, I just think Ed Asner is creepier because Did you he pretends see his to dancing. <laughs> I know, very nice dance, and he <laughs> sings and he makes up songs. I like to sing and dance, too. Does that does that make me nutty? I okay. Mean, All right. I don't know. I, I just, I, I like a good song and dance. I'm, I'm, I'm playful. I guess I'm more playful. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like this at all. 
Uh, I don't like it. Uh, 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 he sounds like he's fighting himself. <laughs> he's sounds like fighting uh, his dick. He's dying right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I feel ill. I need to lie down. Sometimes you really got to work for them. I know Sometimes you really got to work for them. Ever, is it hard for you like this to masturbate? I mean, there's days where you're like, oh, it's really kind of... But no, it's not usually this difficult. It sounds like well, it's he's been had, a long time. I mean, a hard time of it, yeah. Yeah. But then after, he's like, I'm so sweaty. I got to go, Mark. And he yeah. just hangs up on it. Sweaty him. like a black. <laughs> I know. So bizarre. Yeah. I don't know. God, thank God you don't sound like that when we do it. We no. make sweet marital love. Sweating like a like a black man. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah. That's my hole. That's my hole. That's where I spit out of. <laughs> what does he say? That's where it spits. That's where it Mark. spits. That's where it spits. Uh, yeah. No. Nope. I don't like any of them, but I choose the sissy of Fremont. Um, I don't. Here's the deal. The sissy of Fremont won't. He won't come. Like, I don't think that he'll actually do oh. anything sexual. I don't think he's... he's I think he's so, so out of his mind that he's terrifying. just going to sing he's and dance with literally you. literally terrifying. Yeah, he might cry or something. And then terrifying. Okay. You know who you, you might do well with? My man, white folks in Memphis. White folks. Yeah. What's the reason why you don't like white bitches? Because black bitches. Mm -hmm. I love, I, I, uh, no, hold on. <laughs> hey, black bitches, when you hitting their push, they throw it back. Mm. Yeah. White mm. bitches just lay down. Yeah. I don't like this. You don't like this. I want them to do it. You bet. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. That's 100% me if I <laughs> move to Memphis. You? Absolutely. That's a white guy. That's a white guy? Yeah. You don't think he has some flavors in him? Oh, he's got flavor in him, but yeah. he's a white guy. Yeah. That's why they call him white folks. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Sure. I mean, are you listening to this Wait, dude? but I don't understand what, how do black chicks do it? They would just wiggle their hips around? Is no, he's saying, saying they like throw they, it back on you. It's they like a white woman just lays just there. Just like, oh, right. And they're black like, girl, yeah, like they're into it. Yeah, fucks you back. When you hitting your push. Yeah. 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 Okay. I like this dude. Black bitches. You should pull more of his stuff. I sent you that page. His stuff, his he really says some shit, man. Wasn't Mr. White Folks in um, a pimp documentary? As well, that well? might be a different White Folks. I don't know. I'm not sure who. Well, I, yeah, white I just want to make sure we're not cheating the actual Mr. White right, Folks. But this is this is legit Mr. White, white folks, folks right here. Yeah, yeah. He like wearing a black beast. He knew. I like that shit. He really, <laughs> he really. I think you really like him. Oh yeah, he's great. I love this guy. I love it. I mm. heard you bitches was looking for me. Oh, yeah. oh was it time? <laughs> I'm so right. I wasn't sure we get to do it. Well, you've been curating so much, and um, we've been on the uh, we've been on um, death row with uh, we don't know what's happening with the uh, TikTok and the U.S. government, right. China. Who knows? Or he's now saying that like you have to sell TikTok by a certain date, or we're going to ban. I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff. So you've been really heavy into your talks. That's right, Tom. I hear I, you preparing all the time. I've been preparing. <laughs> Doing your work. When do you hear me curating? I just, I house? always hear, I'm like, oh, is that someone <laughs> getting stabbed? Where is that? And then it's like, oh no, Christina's going through her talk. Uh, I like to do it when I'm on the toilet. I mm -hmm. like to curate whenever I can, a few minutes here All and right. there. Well, walk us through some of these hits. Yeah, I'd love to. Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Pukes. Mwah. Pukes. Mwah. Because my son's having fun in the pool. Yes, we are. And how <laughs> Does it end like that? Yeah, it's just nice to see that no matter, as a mother, you're always going to embarrass your your son to the pool kiss. Oh, I got you. And I like that. And I like that guy's like, as we are, mom. Okay. Being a lame mom. You better listen to me really clearly. <laughs> if you don't like this flag, you pack up your bags and get out of my country. <laughs> this flag is nothing but a flag of heritage. Think about it, y'all. That is a beautiful flag. I do think that you have a new possible spokesman for the uh, <laughs> the uh, campaign to keep the Confederacy going strong. That guy is, <laughs> I mean, he's put together. He is elegant and eloquent. And, That's right. Um, 
You know, he, he definitely has me thinking right now. He's, you know what? He, you're right. He's thought provoking. Yep. And look, we can't just cancel things without having a sure. proper debate. I think, I think everything deserves Because I was one debate. of those people that was about to pack my bags and leave the country. But now I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> good point, sir. Yeah, when you come partying with Rukat, you better be ready because this guy's <laughs> down. That guy's down. That girl's down. <laughs> this is the only dog still away. What kind of partying are yeah, they on? What kind of partying? Yeah. When, when you party with what? <laughs> Heroin. Yeah, when you come partying with Rukat, you better. With Rukat? Rukat, I think, is his name. Oh, okay. But he's like, when I inject you, be ready. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're probably going to pass out. Yeah, when I put bleach in your veins, this yeah. is, you're going to overdose and die. <laughs> See these three people in a coma? <laughs> they weren't ready. <laughs> Got it. I mean, yeah. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, I'm freaking loaded again, as usual. I mean, this is not Monday. It's Wednesday hump day. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good talk right that's, that's a, a good, good one. one yeah yeah i think a lot of people are getting loaded on the talk right now there seems to be a sense of uh people are really at a loss with what yeah. to do with themselves the country is just in chaos so uh, a lot a lot of people getting ripped on the talk a lot of people that's getting the pulse ripped. of america right yeah. now very and impressive it is wednesday so happy hump day for yeah. hey what's happening <laughs> yeah i'm freaking loaded again <laughs> It's a cool legacy to leave. (laughs) Digital Uh, footprint. What's she up to? Oh, she's loaded again. That's me. I'm loaded. (laughs) That's somebody's grandma, probably, right? Jesus Christ. Mother. Something. Somebody's related to that person. She's really, really interesting. I like her, though. A lot of people hear about transition to 5D, and they assume it's going to a new place, a new planet. Um, And that's not the case. It's a different frequency in the sense that just the way that radio stations operate, different channels all are going on at the same time. You just tune (laughs) into the one or to the other. So how to know if you're still stuck in this 3D matrix is whether or not you identify with these constructs. Is stuff right, wrong, left, right, Republican, Democrat? Because mm-hmm. the truth of the matter is that everything is true. So whether or not it's true in your reality, your frequency, whether it exists in your world, doesn't mean that it's not true or not happening to somebody else who's operating at a higher, okay. lower vibration. I got, I, I, that, that was as long as I could do it. But Tom, are you stuck? It sounds like you're stuck in 3D. Though. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in 5D yet. You're in binaries. You're uh, true, false. I am, I am kind of amazed <laughs> at someone's capacity to spew nonsense you know like <laughs> when somebody can cook up bullshit like that and just keep it coming and you're like wow yeah, yeah. i mean this is like why people people like this should all be in sales you know yeah because like, yeah. like i don't know and then they start you're like you know you, you just, just here's my credit card <laughs> yeah this bitch will sell you the upgrade anything on the phone the computer anything i'll be like all right just fucking tattoo just my throat just yeah. do it just do it <laughs> Oh, whatever you like. T- throat tattoos are thro- so aggressive. Yeah. You know, it's so like, holy shit. But the, like, she also, like, it's kind of, it's, I don't know. She's kind of hot, right? I mean, she's super, pr- I think she's gorgeous. But yeah. The throat, it, you just imagine how painful that was. It like, looks like it's painful. Yeah. It looks cool, it but does look also cool as fuck, actually. like it's a problem, you know? <laughs> like, like, I'm like, that looks really, like, what I want to tell her is, like, that looks cool, and yeah. also you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> like, that's kind of what it <laughs> right. feels like I should say to her. Right, like, the, it just looks like it hurt. It does. That's... It just looks like it hurt the most. It has yeah. to, right? It has to hurt the most. Well, it's such a declaration of, of like, of notice me and say something. The idea yeah. that you would do this and not want someone to address it. Like if you're like, oh, people keep talking about my throat <laughs> tattoo. Well, yeah, you did that. You, but there are people that would argue, Tom, like, but I'm doing this for me. Yeah. It's not for the attention. You want no one to address <laughs> your throat tattoo. Okay. I mean, because it is like having a permanent turtleneck on. It's very involved. It's, it's so, it really, I would say of all the tats. Yeah. I mean, okay. The face tattoo is ob- like the most aggro, but mm. a throat? 
face tattoo is i don't feel like joining the workforce you know? <laughs> but throat tattoo oh bro it's a, it's a lot of it's like a hot chick thing a lot of hot chicks do they it. do yeah i know but it looks cool as fuck look like look I, at her it looks dope fuck. i love it you know what i like a chest i think on the the chest plates dope a throat tattoos it looks cool i love the job stopper hot chicks tats. and like cool these are like cool dudes i know no it's cool look at dude. her she looks dope yeah yeah it's just so it just i feel looks like a lot of so them aggressive. maybe would feel like uh it'd be nice to be able to take this off you think so I, I mean it feels like it's great for certain settings yeah but on certain settings you'd be like oh this fucking throat tattoo is a lot i know i think that's always been my reluctance to get more also tattoos. there's a difference between oh there's a cock and wings on oh that oh my throat. god that's not good Damn, uh, that's the dick tattoos there's always. a difference between doing just your throat and having the uh, whole upper body done because this kind of yeah. looks cool when it's a whole piece yeah just this makes people go like fuck man what are you doing yeah you need to add on to that shit you either lose it or add i know I mean, the thing is, too, like you, I can't even commit to a hairstyle that I would want the rest of my life. Right. I no, know but you're I, keeping this shit. This is not yo, going anywhere. Yo. Yeah. But are you stuck in 3D? I think you are. I don't think you're a 5D person yet, Tom. Well, this kind of reminds me to bring up. there's no truth. Uh, you remember our homeboy? Uh, Look at him. Look how young. That's when he was on drugs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you, is that a Photoshop? What are you talking are about? Are you messing with me? What are you talking about? I mean, that he's a little boy. No, you're fucking with me. No, that's the guy. Yeah, but he looks like he's 12 here when he got those. Well, he was younger. And he was on a lot of drugs. Remember? Bro, he looks like he's a baby. So we're looking at the juggalo that we have uh, oh, showed you a number of man. times. Who since has reformed his life and is uh, Christian and sober and uh, he's very much a Trump defender. I don't know how that it relates to this, but he talks about <laughs> it a lot. Anyways, he's been having his tattoo removal done. Oh, wow. He yeah. was so young he got when done he very young. did that. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. Here's the cool side oh. by side. Wow. So he really waited a minute yeah. to get those tattoos removed. Well, he didn't really give a fuck about life on the left. <laughs> I know. And like what might happen. And now he does. Yeah. But it, it took him quite a while to come to that, huh? Yeah. She's poor Pretty guy. wild. Shows you, too, that uh, it takes a lot of sessions to get that off. A lot of sessions. If you do a, if you do a permanent clown tattoo on your face, you <laughs> might not want it later. Yeah, maybe this hold This is on. the dirtiest man in the world. Amal Haji is in his 80s, and he hasn't <laughs> bathed for over 60 years. Uh. He leads a nomadic lifestyle in Iran, and his favorite food is rotten porcupine, and he smokes animal feces out of a pipe. <laughs> he believes that cleanliness will bring him sickness, and he says the thought of taking a bath after all this time makes him angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because it's a huge time waster. I understand. I yeah. hate taking baths for that same reason. That's why I never towel dried myself off completely for a long, long time, because it's such a time waster. More than a third tested positive for alcohol. Almost one in ten had cocaine in their system. I love cocaine! <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was really cute. That was. I love cocaine! And this poor guy is like just trying to fucking He's do fucking this job. <laughs> I just want to be a reporter. I want to be a respected reporter. And I got this guy <laughs> screaming, I love cocaine. <laughs> More than a third um. tested positive for alcohol. <laughs> Almost one in ten had cocaine in their system. I love cocaine! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Little punk. I love it. How did I know you love that? That was great. You're not mad at me anymore. No, nah, I forgive you. Send her your hate, but I, no. I feel like... <laughs> no, love me. <laughs> Love me again. Hold my hand. Do the triosby. So the uh the man brought a leaf blower inside <laughs> and started fucking blowing it at like his grandmother. Jesus. <laughs> That's so fucked up. That's fantastic. Could, I could see you doing that to your sisters. Yeah, yeah. And, and to your my mom. mother, yeah. And then my dad, Tommy, could you get the leaf blower out of here? What are you doing? 
<laughs> like your dad would just be. I'm so trying to spray down everybody in the house. There's leaves in here. <laughs> yeah, your dad would be so calm about it. Go, Tommy, what are you doing, buddy? You brought a leaf blower in the house. <laughs> oh Jesus. Ugh. 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 What do you mean? Yeah, he's sexy. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> you don't like his kids? Oh God, that was that was hard to sit. I would rather watch the Sissy of Fremont. Okay, would you rather do Ed Asner or the Kisses guy? Oh, Ed Asner! Stop it! What are you talking about? Are the Kisses? This guy's guy. a fucking creep. What's going on with his head? <laughs> he has. Is that gel down or is uh, that tattooed? No, it's a head tattoo, Tom. I wish you'd be a little more respectful. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Is that he head? has other videos and that's a head tattoo. Yeah. His uh Where what tattoo. country is he in? This is America. This is American guy? This has real foreign vibes to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> it does Some guy being like, No here. How you like No. Do you ladies like when a man give you? On your neck and your ear. Um, so hold on. Have you noticed good, feel good. his chin? Let me love you. That's where it spits. Oh. <laughs> what about his um eyeglasses? There's still a label. He kept the sticker yeah. on They also they don't fit his face. They're oversized. They're way too big for his face. And he's got the pencil thin beard. The pencil beard, no mustache. Uh, everything's a disaster. <laughs> I mean this is like stepping into a horror show. I know. That's why it's one of my favorite talks of the week. I've been sending this to all my friends. I'd be with Ed Asner first, then this guy, then Sissy Freeman. Really? I have a different lineup. I go kiss this guy, Sissy, and then Ed. What? Yeah. You would be with this? Yeah, because I don't like, I think, I think the language thing with Ed, his constant talking to me would freak me out. I don't like the talking to. Jesus Christ. I don't like how he talks. Uh, the head thing is so weird. Ugh. You don't like his kisses? No. Uh, what uh. about the lip lick? <laughs> is the beard tattooed or is that real? No, I think it's real. Ugh. Wait, you're now, maybe it is a tattoo. <laughs> Ugh. You sent this to people? <laughs> Who'd you send it to? So many. I sent it to uh, Jamie Lynn. What'd she Segler. think? <laughs> and she was like, I can't get past the label on his glasses yeah. like i know it's so gross i sent it to jessica what'd she say she loves it yeah She's like, turned on hot yeah hot <laughs> yeah 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 uh, uh, sent it to sarah burns uh, 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 Did you double it up? Don't double it up. Yep. <laughs> Wait, double it up. What's the <laughs> I had the idea to double up. It oh. would be really funny. <laughs> you like that? Turned on now? It's my nightmare. Jesus. <laughs> the multiple ones is just such a nightmare. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so gross. Such scum sucking dogs. Oh. We do a dance for you. Well, like, oh. that, that doesn't scare me. Like, I don't know oh, what you guys. Buggers. It's just, it's just silly. Like, he's just silly. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on and give me a hand job, too. Yeah, it's fine. I give him a hand job. At least that way. You're not having to suck his dick and stuff. Oh. And you don't have to listen to Ed Asner ejaculate for hours. He's so awesome. I don't know if anybody doesn't like that. Do the cums. Do the cums again. Clubs. Do the layering of it. I'm going to die. Okay. I'm going to die. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, <laughs> that's it for my talks. That's it. Oh, I like the clothes on kisses. 
And uh-huh. I, he writes kisses with a smiley face. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is the coolest guy episode. We this was a very a cool lot. episode. We had a lot of cool stuff. It's true. <laughs> so, so many cool guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, okay, the so cool we'll be club. back soon. Um, we'll be back next week, actually. But yeah. um, thank you guys for listening. Uh, here's a song, a closing song called Let Me See That Come by <laughs> Matthew D. Christopher. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you guys for watching, yeah. listening. We'll see you next week. In Girl World, you can't call it a dick suck unless there's jizz in your mouth. Unless there's jizz in your mouth. Sometimes I want to cover your eyes, and it doesn't have to always go in your mouth. It doesn't have to always go in your mouth. It doesn't have to always go in your mouth. Kind of sophisticated, you know. <laughs> doesn't have to always go in your. Doesn't have to always go in your. Doesn't have to always go in your. I've never like, come so much. Dick. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Oh fuck me! I feel so good, good. Damn, that is ass. Oh my fucking god, god, god. It's so fucking yummy. I wouldn't mind tasting it. Sometimes when your dick gets hard, you make noise. (laughs) My cum is 100% kosher. 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 My cum is kosher. My cum is kosher. My cum is kosher. I'm thinking that I would fuck this person. I don't want vagina. I want a penis. 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 I want a I want a penis. 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 I you're supposed to push as hard as you can. Been massage your little hole and okay, you come, you come. Let me see, let me see how much you come. Let me let me see all that come. 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 Oh, Give it to me, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh. oh. You like this? This is what gets you right now? This is fucking awesome! (laughs) Look at his fucking tits. Jump in the chat real quick. <laughs> oh, I can't stop thinking about him. <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> okay, you come, you come. Let me see, let me see how much you come. Let me, let me see all that come. I need it right now. I identify as a threat, a nightmare, and a goddess, so please bow down to me. This is 2020. <sighs> Who are you talking to right now? Why are you talking to the phone like that? Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans. <laughs>